Scripting for a better voice, from writing it down to marking it up and reading it out loud. And sometimes, as we have been talking about over the last few days, when no script is involved and you are ad-libbing. Yeah, we're into a short series of other conversational tricks when you are broadcasting or podcasting. Less so in voiceover work, but certainly in a live situation. What you need to avoid, how you can work better. Ad libs was over the last few days. The next few days, we're going to be talking about filler words. Yeah, it's easy for your ad libs, conversations, and questions to be littered with verbal crutches or properly called disfluences. Sounds like er, uh, okay, and um, and, and words and phrases, you know? I mean, you know what I mean? Kind of thing. Actually, basically, literally, right sort of, so, and the like. And indeed, like, as well. Because that's another filler word that uh, people have identified more recently, coming more and more into the language, as you're probably aware. We're going to be looking at like tomorrow, incidentally. Is it such of a bogeyman as you might think it is? Hmm, OK, we'll discuss that tomorrow. But first of all, when do we use filler words? What are the kinds of situations? Well, certainly they are different. I've identified three. Well, a filler word could be used when you're actually thinking, hold on, I'm looking for the right word or phrase to use right now. Yeah, you're thinking as you're speaking. And so searching for just the right word to use. Or it may be that you're thinking to yourself, I'm being careful to explain this thought so I don't offend. Yeah, you've got several words to choose from and you're weighing up the very best one to use. Or you may be using a filler word or a series of words because actually you're thinking, I'm still holding this conversation, I'm not finished yet. Yeah, have you ever come across a, a nervous speaker giving the impression of fluency, wanting to fill every silence with sound, any sound, Perhaps when they're poorly prepared or they're trying desperately to think of what to say and they won't give way. They keep talking and talking and talking. And they don't want to cede the ground to you. They don't want to give a chance of a pause so you can interject and interrupt. So they're going to keep on talking, even if some of the words are just filling the silence. Three ways we use fillers in different situations. Tomorrow, do you like, like? That's the topic as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>